Get Fit with Gosha. Today I have another punching bag workout for you. This is a 45 minute workout where you can use either a free standing punching bag or you can use a hanging punching bag. You also need gloves. Today I'm using MMA gloves because my punching bag is soft so these are just good enough for this type of punching bag. If you're using a heavy bag, then you probably need a little bit more sturdy gloves such as boxing gloves. Beside that, you need uh, an exercise mat. You also need towel, water, good music, good attitude. And let's get this workout on the road. We're gonna start with a short warm-up. Are you ready? All right, we're gonna start with a warm-up. Grab an imaginary skipping road and start skipping. Nice and light on those feet. Warming up the whole body, warming up all those muscles. And now change direction. And put a big smile on your face. Get ready to do this workout with me. Now drop the rope and just jog here in a spot. Shake up the arms, shake up the body. And now bring your legs in the front, your knees in front. And kick your butt. And bring your knees up one more time. And kick your butt. And now stand here. Circle the arms. Full range of motion. And now change direction. Bring it all the way back. And bring your elbows up, turn the body side to side, breathing through it, come back to the center, take a nice deep breath in, as you breathe out, bend forward on the waist, come down, stay here for a few seconds, feel the stretch in your lower back, coming up, down again. One more time, up and down, stay here, come all the way up, roll your shoulders and change direction and now circle your hips, it's going to be a fun workout, I'm looking forward to it and other way. We have three parts to this workout. Now circle your knees. We're gonna start with some single moves. One set, change direction. Then we're gonna do some combinations. Don't worry, easy to follow. Then we're gonna do conditioning. Now circle your ankles. And at the end we're gonna do some abs. So 45 minutes of solid working out. Change direction. Change sides. Change direction. All right, loosen up your arms. And now bring your left leg to the front. Come into fighter stance. Just give me a nice and easy jab and a cross. That's it. Long punches. Just warm up the body. And now change it into hooks. And I'll give you some uppercuts. Up. Turning those shoulders. Up. And I'll give you some alternate knee lifts. Or knee blocks. They are knee lifts. But these are blocks up. Driving that knee up to the elbow. Tighten up the core. And I'm changing to alternate tips. This is Muay Thai inspired workout. So we do a lot of Muay Thai moves in this workout. Last four, three, two, and one. And we're ready to get started. So first exercise is just a jab on the bed. If you're left-handed, 
you strike with the left. If you're right-handed, you strike with the right. Are you ready? Starting with my timer, 30 seconds for an exercise. Let's go. Put left leg in front, hands up, go. Control the movements. You don't need to go fast here. If you have a freestanding punching bag, it does move a lot. So you gotta control it. Breathe out. Time. All right, now you're gonna go with crosses. 10 second recovery in between every exercise. Hands up. Same stance, left leg in front, hands up. Then you're gonna go with a cross. Power punch. Bring your left hand on your face. Keep it there. Bring your body into it. Again, control the bag. Know when to hit it. Time. All right, now we're gonna go jab cross. So one, two, come back to your fiber stance. Are you ready? Three, Hands up. Left leg to the front. Let's go. One, two. So now don't hit it too hard. Otherwise, you're going to swing. One, two. One, two. Focus on the quality rather than quantity. Length of punches. Always keep those hands up. And by the way, we're here for 45 seconds for jab cross. Time. Okay, next exercise. I call it running mid. So you're going to grab the top of the bag or the side of the bag and you're going to do knee strikes. Ready? Let's go. Here you can go a bit faster. Get the cardio going. Get the heart rate going. Pointing the toes. Let's go. Looking good. Come on. Keep going, all the way to the end. Time. Next one. Left elbow strike. So your right leg is in the front. Now come in and strike. I'm gonna go on this side so you can see me better. Ready? Go. And you can readjust that back every time so it doesn't swing at you. Turning your whole body into it. And I said left elbow strike, I'm doing my right. I meant left leg is in the front. All right. Now you're gonna change your stance actually. Bring your right leg in front and then do your left elbow strike. Ready? Let's go. You want that elbow to come a little higher than your shoulder. Time. All right, next one is alternate tips. So no stance here, hands up. We're gonna swing, same hand as you use the teeth. Let's go. So again, here, you don't need to go hard, otherwise the bag is gonna, the bag is gonna swing. Just lift that foot up, lift. Engage the core, get a target, and then try to aim. 
at that target. Try to go fast. We don't need to go hard. Just go a little bit faster. Next one, left hook. So stay here with your left leg in the front. Fighter stance. When you hook, hand like this or like this. Ready, let's go. Turning your body into it. Get close to the leg here. This is close contact. And if the leg swings, you gotta control it. Add some power to it. Time. You have to change your stance. Bring your right leg to the front. Right hook. Hands up. Ready. Let's go. Make sure you make a fist inside your glove. So your wrist is steady. Turn your body into it. Come on. Doing good. Last one. All right, now we're doing alternate roundhouse kicks. So again, no stance. Neither legs in the front. Hands up. We're gonna go left to right. Let's go. Turn your hips, turn your shoulders. Again, just tap it. You don't need to go hard here. Engage that core. Come on, keep going. Left leg's in front. Fire stance. Ready? Let's go. Bring your body into it. Take that hand in. Change side so you can see me better. Right leg in the front, hands up. Right hook. Ready? And let's go. Up. Up. You want that kick. You want that punch to go up. In and up. Dig it in. Dig it in. You're looking good. Let's go. Let's go. I can see you. You're working hard. Make sure you're breathing through it. Don't hold your breath in. Last one. Okay. One minute break. That was part one. Second part, we have combinations. We have four of them. But we're going to do them on both sides. That means we're going to work here for eight minutes. Non-stop. Make sure to hydrate now. And again, we're not going to go too fast. Focus on a good technique. Exercise number one, you're going to do jab, cross, roundhouse kick on your back leg, which is your right leg here. So get yourself situated. Fire stance, left leg's in the front. Hands are up in front. All right, we still have 10 seconds, but you can just start practicing. Start psyching yourself up for this one minute round. 
Ready? Let's go. One, two, kick. One, two, kick. Take your time. You can always spread just the bed. You don't have to go non-stop, it's okay. Hands up, always come back. To your fighter stance. Jab and a body punch. Okay, we'll go slowly. 
All right, hands up. Okay, exercise. Check, jump body. Move back. Check, jump body. Check. Hands up. Check. When you do check, you can also bring your opposite hand in the front if it's not confusing for you. This is to measure the distance. Hands up. Almost there. Come on, keep going. Three. Last one. Okay, I'm going to change sides again so you can see me better. Now, right legs in the front. Hands up. So you're going to check with your right knee and then jab right, body left. Ready? Let's go. Exercise. Check. It's actually good to change sides because you never know. You might have to change sides and then, even though it feels awkward now, it will feel good. Yeah, the body definitely feels weird on this side. Use that power, let's go. Just feels awkward with the right leg in front, but that's okay. Do your best. Last one. All right, last combo. You're gonna do left hip, then you're gonna do a cross, and then you're gonna do uppercut left, uppercut right. Ready? We'll go slowly. Left leg in front, okay. Tip, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Go back, tip, cross. So you go left, right, left, right, move back, left, right, left, right, tip,
We have 15 second recovery. We're gonna do it twice. I'm gonna grab my mat this time because we're gonna do a burpee in between. So if you have a hard floor like me, then you can get your mat now. All right, grab some water. Are you ready? All right, first exercise. Jab, cross, jab, cross, burpee. One minute. Heart rate is gonna go up. Okay, let's go, let's do it. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is not a very good idea because my mat's moving. If I fall, you can laugh. Or I can go into bloopers. One, two, three, four. <sighs> 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 Woo! <sighs> Come on, 15 seconds.
Halfway there. Come on. Keep them coming. Ten seconds left.
Jab, cross. Continuous. Catch your breath. Hands up. Go. Exercise three. One last three exercises left here. Don't get lazy. Bring those hands all the way to your face. One minute is a long time. That's all I have to say. We've got right kicks. Left leg in front. Turn that foot out. Get ready. Hands up. Three, two. Hey, let's go. Come on, turn your body. Do your best. Even if you're going down one centimeter, doesn't matter. Keep going. Or if you have to drop down to your knees at this point, it's totally fine. We get stronger with every workout. Next time. It'll be better. Three, two, one, rest. And time. Okay, we're done with this part. Now we just have abs, three exercises, two sets. One minute each. But now you have a break, so you're gonna recover. Exercise number one, you're gonna put your legs around the bag. You're gonna do a sit up and then punch the bag as high as you can. All right, get yourself ready. This is it, last part of the workout. Mentally prepare, physically prepare. Mind over body. We can do this. Three, okay. Two, Lay down. One, Let's go. Exercise. Up. Reach up as high as you can.
all the way up, all the way down.
Last two exercises. Whew. I'm feeling it, you guys. This is good. This is good. Whew. Okay, high plank position. Ready. Two punches. Now let's make it different. Four punches. One, two, three, four. Come back. Back to two. One, two. Come back. Four. One, two, three, four. Let it rest. Now let's do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rest. Let's do eight. Lay on your back, bring both knees into the chest, and rock from side to side. And now rock forward and back. And if you're able to, bring your legs all the way behind. You can stay here and flop. Don't turn your head like me. I'm just looking at the camera. Don't turn your head. And now, and roll slowly, come on up to standing position, shake it out, and hold on to your bed, stretch your quads. And change sides. Stretch your calves. Put your foot against the base of your bag or a wall. Stretch your calves. Change sides.
Bring your hands behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Bring your feet together. And now bend forward. Raise your arms up. And bring your hands all the way down to your toes. Bend the knees. Come on up slowly. Roll your shoulders back. And forward. And take a nice deep breath in. And breathe out. And that's it for today, my friend. Thank you so much for working out with me and sweating with me. This was awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please give me thumbs up and share with your friends and family. We want all your family and friends to be fit and healthy, just as you. And I will talk to you soon. Adios. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Get Fit with Gosha and like our videos.